So new topic, let's call it VR Wednesdays, Plasma here. And hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got some exciting updates from the world of VR flight simulation. So let's dive right into it. First up, let's talk about VAR.io, the company that's making waves with its cutting edge VR headsets. VAR.io has teamed up with Loft Dynamics to create a next level helicopter flight simulator. Their system, the Loft Dynamics H215 FSTD, uses Vario's VR headsets to give helicopter pilots a truly immersive training experience. What's really amazing is that this is the first VR flight simulator to receive FAA qualification. This could be a game changer for pilot training, making it more accessible and affordable by cutting down on equipment costs and increasing safety. And if you think this is Vario's first dive into VR flight training, Think again, the US Army has already chosen Vario's XR3 for training Apache, Chinook, and Black Hawk pilots. So Vario is definitely becoming a key player in VR aviation training. But that's not all. Loft Dynamics is also the first VR simulator to get qualified in the EU. This is huge for the VR flight sim world, and it paves the way for more providers to jump on board and develop headset-based training solutions with aviation safety and rising pilot training costs always a concern, VR solutions like this one from Loft Dynamics and Vario could really shape the future of pilot training. Now, let's talk about some developments in Ukraine. Dogfight Boss, a Czech cockpit simulator company, has made a big splash by donating a fully functional F-16 training cockpit to help train Ukrainian pilots. And guess what? The cockpit is paired with none other than VAR-AO's XR4 Mixed Reality Headset. This simulator is designed to train Ukrainian pilots for their new F-16s, offering a highly realistic training environment. According to the Ukrainian commander, pilots were seriously impressed with the advanced features of the simulator, which helps them practice complex flight systems and strategies. It's clear this training tool is essential and the Ukrainian military has already requested eight more simulators, though they are seeking partnerships to fund them. That's all the latest news from the VR flight sim world. From helicopter simulators to cutting edge F-16 training in Ukraine, VR is changing the way pilots are trained, and we're excited to see where this tech goes next. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates. See you in the next video.